splendid animation. Splendid TV. What do you want? What do I want? Sort yourself. Oh, you did? Why did you do it? Why don't you just leave me alone to the government? What are you? A lawyer or a judge? It just looks weird to me. Then get it off your mind then. You told me I had cancer. What for? I don't even know why you are here. Why are you here? As a family, you put me in here. You put yourself in here, not me. It's fine if that's the way you see it. Why? Will you stop acting innocent? I am acting innocent. Ask your mom. You've gone wild. Oh, you haven't. Domestic animal. You are something else. You killed the senator. You killed Kola. And you almost finished me. I need to go. You go. I have no family. Get it off your mind. I see. I don't get how you transit from the uncle I loved to this. Come on, your parents will soon be here. You should get ready. I'm not going. Why? I just don't want to go. I promise to always come check after you. Like you promised the other. I've changed Daniel. I promise. I, I don't want to go. You have to. Let's go get you ready. Next holiday, I will surely be expecting you. Uncle, you know how we were. You know the relationship. All you did. Why? You annoy me every single time you act as if you don't know what you did. Of course I didn't know. I told you, Daniel, that the CEO thing was my thing. You said you only wanted to have your own private. You betrayed me. What? By doing what? I never opposed you. Competed with you. Shut up. My dad was denied of that CEO because he was crippled. He worked hard. He wasn't just anybody. The only request he asked of me is to gain that title back. You know, I told you. I told you, Daniel. He asked me to gain that back for our family no matter what. With tears in his eyes. And you took CEO? The CEO things wasn't even my decision. You felt comfortable in it. You did. I deserved it. My uncle understood this. It's purely politics. I was voted for not some conspiracy stuff. Daniel! Is that the thing? Yeah. It's delicious. Squirrel? Very much. Why are you after becoming the CEO? Who knew one better thing? Be serious now. It has a story. A story you can't tell me. You want to know? Becoming the CEO was my dad's ambition. He worked hard, achieved a lot of things despite being crippled. I mean, almost everyone expected him to be the CEO after Grandpa passed away. His lifelong ambition was denied of him because he was crippled. No one remembered that until that day. No one voted for him. And that was why it was given to my dad? I was in jail too back then. And I just came back from school one day. He touched me. I mean, Daniel, he never touched me like that before. Holds my head in his hands and said he would only be happy if I attained the position. Just that. 
My dad never asked me to be first in my class or become the best student in my school. But that's one thing. I will achieve it. Your ambition, what is it? I don't like politics. I just want to stand alone and own a tech company. I don't like our family, you know? Why? It's what grandpa costs. Nowadays, it looks more like a political party against political party. Nothing like a family. Everyone is just thirsty for power. Including your dad? Yeah, even you. I'm getting close. Once I attain the seat of New Hope Hospital President, then I switch goals. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Go! Why do you have to tell me I have cancer? How did it make you feel? <laughs> I guess. Bad. What else is the point? I feel happy making you tear apart. Then, all those affections you showed? That's when I remember how good you were. I mean, sometimes I got those touchy feeling feelings. But that cannot stop me from my goals. <laughs> it was actually fun. In a case like this, I'm done. I would have just gone on my knees and apologized to you for hurting your feelings. <sighs> but you killed the family. And that's a way too much to do it. Just remember, you killed the family. Not just him, but also a breadwinner of a family in pursuit of your own selfish goal. Remember! Daniel, I'm sorry. Linda, I'm not blaming you for anything. You did self-defense. He would have killed you. But that's too much. I know how the senator's death hurt you. But don't let someone like William storm to a murderer. Thanks for everything. You just remind me of my dad. He said that to my mom a lot. A lot. Thanks. I really appreciate. Happens. We are family. This is not a political gathering. It is a family gathering. Don't let us fail ourselves as family for the company's sake. See who's talking. Daniel, you, you can't forget anybody for the company's good. Abio, una don't a motivational speaker for peace. Let's just be quiet for now. <sighs> well, I might be guilty of one of these and I admit it. But my people, my family, my loved ones, I've learned some lessons on the way. Yeah, we all know this has been happening for so long, but we can fix it. When the rumor about my cancer was spreading, I could notice a lot of concern about the company. I understand that. I understand why we should all be concerned. I mean, who can joke with his monthly allowance? Even those who are not working in any of the companies should be concerned too. We can't joke with our money. But what went through my mind? I was alone, pressured, calls asking for my cancer test to prove if I can still continue as a CEO. Trust me, I felt the sharp pain that is a loneliness. That's exactly what, what he felt. His son felt the same too. And if we are not careful, if we don't get ourselves together, there is only going to be more cases like this one. Let's show the world we are not just business partners. We are family partners too. We can change what has been damaged from the beginning. Let's do it! our family dining. 
I invited you here to let you feel how much I appreciate you in my life. Inviting you here simply means you are a family to me. I really appreciate you, ma'am. No, thanks. Hey, thank you, Mr. Daniel. No, thanks. It's all yours. Ma'am, you will have to excuse me for now. I invited her. How are you? I'm fine. You look beautiful. Thanks. Linda, please. What? You know. I don't have an idea. You do. Remind me. I'm shy. Forget it then. I love you. This lady, is she your bodyguard? I could sue you for that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you once said it on the TV program that you're not a family person. <laughs> that was then. <laughs> <laughs> you said there is no lady. There is now. <laughs> <laughs> but no lady is powering you. Linda does. Merely looking at her is an inspiration for me to keep dreaming and achieving. I'm really blessed to have her. Wow. So who is she to you? Everything. She is everything. I will always be grateful to her. So you feel accomplished, right? Yeah. Yeah. But there are things I still wish for. Like? Linda is not saying enough I love you to me. She's always covering her eyes. I wish she could just say it now. You have to do it. You have to. No, don't do that. I love you, Daniel. Oh! My God! Is that a ring? Yes, it is. I proposed last week. Wow! I am so happy for you. Thanks. So, what's your advice to all singles out there? Repent! Now go no one time, one time. Una bye bye.